Good afternoon. This is my very first Bible teaching snippet. And by snippet, I mean five minutes. My plan is to just teach you for about five minutes, not 15 or 20, anything like that. Later on, if you want to listen to some more of my teachings that are 15 minutes or 20 or 40 minutes, whatever those are, uh, those will be available for you. But right now, the goal of these, my little snippets, I want to give you nuggets, and I want to give them to you in five minutes or less, and I want to attach Bible scriptures to it to prove to you that I am in the Word of God and I am teaching the true Word of God. Now, I assure you these five-minute snippets will be very controversial, and I'm going to rock your boat, tip your boat, and sometimes I may even flip a few boats over. So... Let's put our life vest on and get started. Today, what I'm going to talk about is the sovereignty of God and is God in control of everything. Well, first, let me answer the questions. Is God sovereign? Yes, he is. Is God in control of everything? Absolutely not. Now, that right there has caused a problem because most people think it's those two things are the same thing. No, sovereignty means is God in his own power able to exist independently of any help from an outside force. And we all know God is sovereign. The United States is a sovereign nation. The United States does not need another nation to help us to stay in existence. We're not dependent on anyone else. We can operate independently in the United States. That's why we're a sovereign nation. Okay, so God is sovereign. He does not need an outside entity to keep him on his throne. The second part. Is God in control of everything? Absolutely not. God is not in control of everything. If he was in control of everything, Adam never would have ate from the tree, and we wouldn't have gotten in a fallen state where we live in a world where there's rape and murder and death and all kinds of crazy junk going on. So is God in control of everything? Absolutely not. And here's a clue for you. If, you're going, if anybody teaches you anything, I don't care if it's your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, it doesn't matter. The bottom line here is that person needs to be able to attach scriptures, more than one, okay, to what they're teaching you. Now today I'm going to attach a scripture that will prove to you that God is not in absolute control of every little thing. Okay, here we go. Matthew 18, 18, and this is in the expanded Bible because I just really like how it clarifies what the Greek really says. And it says here, and it's in red, so Jesus said this. He said, I tell you the truth, the things whatsoever you do not allow, you forbid or bind on earth will be the things that God does not allow, he forbids or binds in heaven. And the things whatsoever you allow whatever you permit or loose on earth will be the things that God allows, permits, and looses in heaven. Okay, so that one's pretty clear. We have the power to either bind things on this earth and God, what we call here, has got our back. God will make sure that when we bind something here on this earth, that all the power that he has, he will back us up with that. But what we loose or what we allow, we have tied his hands and he has to allow it as well. So if we allow bad things to happen on this earth, we have tied God's hands and he has to allow that too. So today, I know that's harsh. That's really, that, that's a lot to take in. Um, but let me say one more thing. And I'll go to, I'm not going to read it because I'm in four minutes already on my first video because I took my first minute to explain to you what I was going to start doing. In Matthew 6, 9, we have the Lord's Prayer. And when the boys asked Jesus to teach us to pray, Jesus taught them to pray. And I want you to read that prayer and notice that Jesus never said, boys, it's no need in praying because dad's in control of everything and he's just going to do what he wants to do because he's in all control and all power. So you just hang loose and whatever's going to be is going to be. And we live this, uh, okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be gospel. He did not tell the boys that. In fact, he told them how to pray a prayer of power. 
and so, because our prayers have power and we have power to change everything on this earth. God is not in control. He put us in control because we're the ones living here in this earth and we are joint heirs. We are partners with heaven and he wants us to change this earth and make it look more like heaven. I'm five minutes and 18 seconds into this video and I got to wish you a good afternoon and God bless. I'll be posting more of these, so please join me.